Hello and welcome to the Rock Systems Stand ADMA 2023. My name is Rob Stokes and I am the founder and owner of Rock Systems as well as with my wife Louise. Um, I am born Zimbabwean, raised Zimbabwean, proudly Zimbabwean and Rock Systems is 100% Zimbabwean born. Uh, we have a total of 54 different products in the agriculture engineering range and they basically range from tobacco curing systems, our flagship being the Rock Systems Super Eco Tunnel, which is very unique in its design where we have a different wet bulb in each day's cure, which gives the efficiency of a con continuous system along with the individual days curing to give you maximum quality. We are world leading in efficiency in both electricity and heating fuel. We can offer curing with coal dust, coal, wood and any bio matter. We can do diesel burners. So we offer the full range of different options depending what you might have available. So our flagship being the tunnel, we then go down to the Chongololo, the cascade system, where we do a 50, 28 and 17 hectare, along with barn conversions, where we can take eight conventional barns built many, many years ago, and we can convert that to world leading efficiencies at very, very cost effective prices. Uh, also, we have Modros, which were unviable and we now have a design where we can combine up to 21 modras onto a single heat source reducing your coal consumption by 30 percent your electricity cons consumption by 50 percent and increase your barn capacity by up to 30 percent with a repayment of as little as three months curing to fully re recover your capital investment then on the grain drying side, we offer seed maize cob dryers dropping from 38% moisture down to 12.5%. We do a 10, 20 and 30 tonne per day seed maize cob dryer, paprika dryers, uh, any sorts of crop drying in what we call our tray dryers. We then have seed maize or commercial grain dryers which are continuous flow dryers. We start off with a 5 ton per hour dropping 5%, which is a diesel fueled mobile grain dryer. And we then go up to an 8 ton an hour, 12 ton an hour and 16 ton an hour, which can be fueled by either diesel, wood or coal. Our drying costs on coal are as low as $1.70 per ton dried, dropping 5% moisture and the handling charges, generator charges, come to about 25 cents per tonne dried. So our flagship on the dryers is our 16 tonne per hour, which is almost 400 tonnes a day and about 17 30 tonne lorry loads per day. <clears throat> then <clears throat> we also do, um, you can see behind me, we do trolleys, trailers um, for the tunnels. Uh, our trailers are four ton trailers with six ton axles and eight ton tires. Absolutely maintenance free and very robust farm trailers. Steel decked with three mil steel plates, so very versatile. And then our trolleys are unique in that they have an 80 centimeter tear spacing, which is in line with the Tobacco Research Board recommendations where we have now bought the license and have modified the Tilita clip. Um, we have put in a different arrangement of springs, bigger hooks, and we have increased the packing from 24 stations to 30 stations, designed to reap two leaves per tobacco plant and tie two leaves. So it completely eliminates Overreaping on the tobacco completely eliminates underfilling of the clips and greatly reduced dropout, greatly reduced colouring time, namely by 12 hours, increased wilting 
and we are now able to put 150 clips per trolley, which is in line with tobacco research board recommendations, and 60 leaves per clip, giving you 9,000 leaves per trolley at an average of 45 leaves per kg is 200 kgs of slat pack tobacco per trolley per day on strips. It is groundbreaking. The clips are, are going to be absolutely game changing in both reducing management, increasing output, and to put it simply, you can increase the output of your Cura by up to 50% by simply changing to the Rock Systems Talita clips. We also do, with our sheds, we offer high pressure misting systems, which is where we pump water at 1000 PSI, 70 bar, and we atomize that similar to steam, and it evaporates almost as quickly as steam. And we do have one running behind, and this gives you both evaporative cooling for air conditioning sheds as well as humidity control. So for example, tobacco, long-term storage through TIMB's recommendation is 16% leaf moisture, which is 70% relative humidity in your shed. So we can very accurately maintain your shed at precisely 70% relative humidity, which will give you precisely 16% leaf moisture, eliminating any chance of mold, and is adequate for long-term storage of tobacco. So we offer a range of misting systems and for any shed size, and it completely eliminates the need for steam or a boiler of any form in tobacco production. So we, we do um, all sorts of other smaller items. Um, we do, behind the camera is our slat pack bale hoist for loading slat packs as high as six high, operated by one person. Um, we, you know, we do the, basically the full range of crop drying, curing, um, sheds and any other items which are involved in those processes. So, we've mentioned the grain dryers. Um, we also do an ethylene generator, which is designed and manufactured by Rock Systems in Zimbabwe, which very cheaply, very cost effectively, changes 95% ethanol alcohol into pure ethylene gas, which greatly speeds up the coloring process, the breakdown of both chlorophyll and starch in tobacco, bananas, uh, many different fruits, and um, very, very cost effective and is used very commonly in tobacco, especially in difficult tobacco, namely dry tea styles, over nitrogen or diseased tobacco. Um, we do a whole array of different sized sheds which are bricked in, closed in for humidity control with all um, translucent sheets, so no need for, for any lights and all our grading and everything is done with ambient light which is much more consistent, obviously cheaper and gives you a much more accurate grading light for tobacco. Um, we do offer heat exchangers starting from 500 kilowatt going all the way up to 1400 kilowatt which is a 1.4 megawatt of heating energy. Uh, it's a dry heat exchanger designed, manufactured, invented in Zimbabwe by Rock Systems and very, very cost effective in producing um, hot air for grain drying, tobacco curing, etc. And with our grain dryers, we do a whole array of um, augers, grain augers, all designed, quite unique to Zimbabwe. We have a few little tricks. Uh, we get up to 50% efficiency, which is above the normal 30% efficiency for, gra for grain dryers. We run them a lot slower, a lot more full, and therefore reduce chipping. And we're very cost effective, and they are entirely manufactured by Rock Systems. Right, so I think that basically covers the majority of what we manufacture at Rock Systems. We also offer consulting, farm planning, we can help with agronomy, and one of our big pushes at the moment 
is we have spent five years solely invested by Rock Systems in the future of regenerative agriculture, where we now do almost 80 hectares of tobacco and 80 hectares of wheat with minimum tillage, minimal fertilizer, minimal chemicals, uh, which has greatly improved our profit margins while improving the soil health, huge carbon sequestering from the atmosphere, which is greatly reducing carbon into the atmosphere. Rock Systems is presently a, about 2,000% carbon negative between what we produce in carbon to co compared to what we sequester. Absolutely unbelievable. And we have managed to improve our commercial soils in two years. We have managed to treble our war tolling capacity, treble the depth of our topsoil, treble our NPK, we have gone from no earthworms up to 18 earthworms per shovel of topsoil and organic matter is up by almost 3% which means our carbon levels are going to be close to 300% increase over 80 hectares in two years. So not only are we agriculture engineers, we're also farmers but all our farming is in research in the future of agriculture in Zimbabwe, namely regenerative farming, where we have greatly reduced our input costs by up to 45%. And we believe that what we've learned, we will be able to achieve maximum tobacco yields on as much as 45% reduction in input costs across the board. Um, our chemical bill, for example, has gone from roughly $1,000 a hectare down to $100 a hectare. Our uh, diesel consumption from 700 litres a hectare down to 200 litres a hectare. Our labour remains the same. Our coal consumption is roughly 0.6 kgs of coal per kg of tobacco cured in a normal season and about 0.7 kgs of coal to a kg of tobacco in either wet seasons or droughty seasons. So we are not only agriculture engineers, but we are farmers and we do all our own research with our own crops. So we try and do a year or two of trials before we retail any of our products. All right, so that's a bit about it from Rock Systems. Please look us up on the website, on Facebook, and please feel free to contact us for any further information. Thank you.